Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. March 18th, it goes down. Madison Square Garden, New York. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Gennady Golovkin versus the Miracle Man, Danny Jacobs. I'm looking forward to this particular fight. And they did their seven-day weigh-ins. Ego Weight Watcher style, a.k.a. ill. So I want to talk about the weights. Just kind of give some previews and stuff. Make sure you guys check out HBO Boxing's YouTube. They have the HBO 24-7 episode with Golovkin and Jacobs. It was actually one of their best episodes in, in some time from the 24-7 series. And... I enjoyed it now i'm happy this fight's being made make sure you check out my boxing ego first look tell the tape i did one for gennady golovkin versus danny jacobs and i also did one for roman chocolatito gonzalez versus sor rungvisai which is another good fight on the same card now as far as the weights golovkin came two pounds over the contracted weight which is 162 contracted weight middleweight 160 and Danny Jacobs weighed in in his seven-day weigh-in at 167.8. So I definitely fully expect both fighters to make weight. Neither one of them is far away, but I did a video, the Eagle Weight Watchers video on the 30-day weigh-ins, and Jacobs was heavier than Golovkin then, so he's still heavier, but he's coming down. Now, it's funny, I posted a picture online on my Instagram. Shout out to everybody that follows me. And it's, it's funny because a lot of people leave comments and everybody's a professional. It was a picture of Danny Jacobs. He completed his last day of training camp and he looked ripped. He looked in good shape. He looked ready. And this is the fight of his life. This is a fight that could change his world if he were to win. But he has to stay safe. He's going up in there against a, a great champion with more belts than him. A guy who has certified power, knows how to place his shots and break you down. But... All I can ask is proper preparation from these fighters. And Jacobs looks to be in good shape. He looks he looks really good shape. But some people were leaving comments. Oh, Jacobs, he looks too skinny. And uh, he's going to be weight drained and this and that. He, he looks like he's in good shape. And from my perspective, again, I fully expect both fighters to make weight. This is a big fight. It's a big bill. It's a big card. Jacobs is from New York. Jacobs is probably getting a career high payday. I don't know exactly how much he's getting, but if it's not his highest, maybe the Peter Quillen is, but it should be close. It's probably over the Quillen fight because I think that's what took a while for this fight to manifest. But that being said, these guys are both professionals. They've remained professional in their career. So for the biggest fight of their careers, I don't see either of them missing weight and I don't see them being far away. But you know what I mean? It's boxing. Anything can happen. I just, I think he looks in, in good shape. Some people are saying he's too skinny and this and that. Like, what, what do you want him to look like? You want him to have a beer belly? Like, what would make you happy? I mean, you're, you're seeing the six pack. He looks in shape. He looks lean. And the other thing is, guys, I know some people don't know boxing. That's just what it boils down to. You could be ripped. You could be skinny and have power you know what i mean it doesn't that doesn't equate to power your physique what you look like right timothy bradley shout out to bradley i got an interview coming um i just talked to him and interviewed him yesterday but bradley has one of the most ripped physiques in boxing but he doesn't have destructive power right for his division welterweight so that doesn't mean anything versus marcos Maidana. Brandon Rios, John Molina, those guys carry power, but if you look at their physiques, they don't really look buff or cut or sliced. So bottom line is we know Danny Jacobs, no matter what shape he's in, he has power, right? And again, he looks lean, so he's not going to just lose his power overnight. That's something that that you're God, give, God gifted, and it's inherent. So, I mean, I, I don't see anything, but some people were leaving comments like, oh, he looks too skinny. Like, what, is he, what do you want him to look like? That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, he's a big dude. He's six foot tall. And I think this is a challenge, man. Like, this is a lot of people. I This is just my opinion. I think a lot of people, there's fighters that they're the package deal that the networks want, the promoters want, and they praise them, which is, you know what I mean? Whatever. It, it is what it is. I can't control that. But... 
it's not always those package fighters that are as invincible as people make them out to see to be now i'm not throwing shade at golovkin golovkin is a great fighter but based on what he's done and there's other people in the industry that corroborate this like teddy atlas based on what he's done we don't know how good he is that's that's just a fact we don't you know what i mean i know more from danny jacobs in him losing to dimitri Perog than i do with golovkin because i've seen him hurt and then i've seen him battle cancer and i've seen him reinvent his career and become a champion again learn how to walk again you know what i mean golovkin the fact of the matter is we haven't seen every all of his performances have pretty much been dominant so we don't really see him in those too many oh shit moments so either it's a testament to his skill or it's because of his level of competition and i think it might be a little bit of both i think he is a skilled fighter i think he is a good fighter but i also think it's based on who he's fought the kasim uma was a very tough fight for him right and then he started destroying guys and you know i mean it's just i don't know i don't think the middleweight division was necessarily the most popping division so we're gonna see this is that's why i'm as a fan i'm i'm very happy and i'm doing everything i can to promote this fight because it is just that it's a fight that us fans have been waiting for it's a good fight and it's a fight that's going to tell us about both i want to see how golovkin because in my opinion i don't think i don't like the reaction i see when golovkin gets hit hard you could say all this oh he was never hurt that's what he's saying but the the shots that look hard to me i don't like how he responded curtis stevens was backing him up and then um also kel brook i don't like that personally hey it looked weird like it looked he looked a bit like like he looked almost shocked that you would stand your ground and throw a punch back at him and hit him that hard that's just my opinion so i'm anxious to see how danny jacobs looks and how he comes out but then the, on the flip side i'm anxious to see how danny jacobs looks because you have to fight a meticulous and methodical fight against golovkin if you get him into a rhythm it's it's a wrap you know what i mean he knows how to force the stoppage he knows how to hurt you he knows how to pick his shots off so that's that's why this is such a good fight for me because if danny jacobs comes out with the silly game plan then he's going to be on the canvas or against the ropes and that's not where he wants to be he wants to keep this in the center of the ring he wants to establish his jab early but also disrupt golovkin enough and land enough bombs and power shots so golovkin knows that he's going to have to pick his shots and maybe even use head movement or things we haven't really seen him use to come in he's not going to just come in the front door you know what i mean so this is a good fight for both fighters and much props mucho props to the winner whoever wins this particular fight because they are the best middleweight that's how i see it that's my fair uncut assessment as far as golovkin i haven't seen any current like this week recent pictures but if i do i'll make a video about it but golovkin he was in shape last time i seen his pictures and at his media day and then same with jacobs he looks like he's ready to go in shape he's at home there's a lot riding on it for both fighters and we'll see we'll see what happens march 18th drop your fight predictions is anyone picking the underdog jacobs for the upset or is it the gennady golovkin show check out the box of ego first looks let me know what you guys think drop it in the comment section make sure you share the video like the video as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing yeah.